Hi, my name is Desina Hanonu. Love Talk Live helped me prepare for marriage. If it can help me, it could definitely help you. Hi, my name is James Hanonu. Love Talk Live prepared me for my marriage. If it can help me, it can definitely help you. Before going to the seminars, I could say that I wasn't really confident um, in finding someone, although I wanted to, because the past relationships I had had just let me down. Um, they hadn't been successful. I felt as though I gave my best and I didn't get it back. So I had a lot of baggage. Um, so going to the seminars, it, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit worried. Um, but as time went by, it literally just went, those feelings just went. I just gained confidence and, and started learning how I can move forward onto a better relationship. I met Desreen at UCKG Peckham, on my, the branch that I go to. Um, I actually knew her before, but I didn't really see her in that way until I finished my relationship that I was in. I had a break and then um, literally my eyes were opened and to seeing her much more differently than I saw her initially. As time went by, a few months went by, obviously the true colours started coming out and I started noticing things in him that I didn't like and he started noticing things in me that I didn't like. Um, some of the main things that we struggled with was miscommunication, um, we wasn't understanding each other and he would be like but this is what I think and I'd be like no but it's like this and he actually would not see what I'm saying so that was so frustrating. I was very straight to the point, very rude and not rude but I'd probably say just very serious, always serious and not realising that a woman is a woman and she needs to be treated a little bit different from my friend as a, a man so I realised I needed to soften up as, as a person. Another thing I noticed is that James expected perfection, because he's a perfectionist, but he expected it in the relationship. And I'm not perfect. <laughs> so that naturally, you know, caused a few arguments and disagreements here and there, because he expected me to be perfect every single day of our lives, um, not to have arguments, not to have disagreements. So then when we did, that was a problem. So there were all these things that we were finding out about each other and actually had to start working on. I think from going to Love Talk Life, I, I just started realising a lot of things inside of me, like um, of being proud and, and stubborn with my ways. So I think it's good listening to, to the presenters when, when they're talking about it, because it, it's not like it's directed at you, it's not personal, but it's like general to everyone. So I was able to accept it much more and start to change myself internally. Two years after dating um, and obviously being engaged, we got married and the day before our, our amazing wedding day, we found out that my husband had a tumour. Um, it was a very big shock for me and also him because, you know, you're so excited that the next day our dream is about to come true, basically. I found out about the tumour just before I got married, the day before I got married. Um, I went to hospital and they told me it was a, a tumour. It's like a flight on my honeymoon. So we had the wedding, it was amazing, had a great time. But I was in serious pain. Flew out and it was growing quite rapidly. So within a few days, we had to fly back to London and start with a process of surgery. After coming back from the honeymoon and obviously just being married, we had a problem that we had to deal with together. It was a problem that if you're looking at it, it could destroy, it could have destroyed our marriage. Um, me having high expectations of marrying, marrying my husband and now he's sick, um, him having expectations, it was just, it literally kind of shut us down um, at that moment. But that's when we just decided, you know, we need to get through this together. Even in, in all of the seminars, there's so many things that during those hard moments, I remembered. There were times when they would mention there's gonna be hard times, there's going to be times you just stick by your partner. There's going to be times you're going to feel lonely. There's going to be times when you're you're going to have expectations and it won't um, be the way that you've expected. But you need to go through. So all of these things we were literally putting into practice at that at that point. So what did I change? What do you think that I changed um, going to the seminars? Yeah, because I can see like a lot of the messages were linking to to, to us. Yeah. And that I could see that you were putting into practice. So a lot of the things which, like making an effort, you know, this is something that I felt like before she didn't really make an effort, like, and I could see that she started improving on her appearance, the way she dresses, and um, the way she carried herself was much more, much more better. But one thing I'm so happy that you changed because of the love talk is your perfection. Like, it was too much. And obviously, I understand you are perfectionist, but in the relationship, I feel like you just need to relax a little bit. And I'm happy that you did. 
you became more relaxed, your high expectations were brought down to a normal level, um, which helped. And yeah, it just made me feel more comfortable and it just made me feel like you're not looking at, you're not having high expectations, you're looking at my, um, my mistakes and expecting this and expecting that. Um, and it helped because I'm thinking, if you were like that when we were married, I don't know, that, I don't know how I would do. I don't know how we would cope. James, how do you think we overcame the whole cancer thing? I think the, we overcame it from literally sticking together. Like I think that's probably the way that we kind of overcame the situation. Just yeah. being strong for each other. And um, as I said, I've, I've always been strong-minded that, that whatever I go through, I'll soldier it and, 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 and just overcome it. But it was good to also have the additional help from my wife yeah. and for her to be staying strong in the tough moments because it, it was hard for her. Because yeah, it was hard. It was hard, but I think, yeah, I think it's because we definitely worked together. We, we were in it together. And I think that's so important because in marriage, it's not just about you, it's not just about me. Mm. If it's your problem, it's our problem. So I think it's because we kind of dealt with it together and we were there supporting each other. Hi, my name is James Ahanonu. My name is Desri Nahanonu. Love Talk Live. Helped us prepare for our marriage. <laughs>